Hallelujah. Not one sit down watching TV and the other one in the kitchen cooking and doing everything. Teamwork. Hallelujah. And there are a lot more I would have done differently. And in my book, you would get a word from Pastor David Hunt, his personal testimony that I had nothing to do with. You will hear from um, Derek Hunt, his personal testimony. Jennifer, my daughter, her personal testimony. And Kenwin Hunt, his personal testimony. And you would have a pictorial journey. You will see the pictures of all the children, the grandchildren, and even you will see great-grandchildren, third generation, serving the Lord just because of Jesus. Jesus is my hero. And because Jesus is my hero, I always love to lift him up. From Genesis to Revelation, Jesus was there. Too many people think Jesus was only there from Matthew to Revelation. But he was there from Genesis. In Genesis, Jesus was the ram at Abraham's altar. In Exodus, he was, he was the Passover lamb. In Leviticus, he's the high priest. In Numbers, he's a cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. In Deuteronomy, he's the city of refuge. In Joshua, he's the scarlet thread of Rahab's window. In Judges, he's our judge. In First and Second Samuel, he's our trusted prophet. In Kings and Chronicles, he's our reigning king. In Ezra, he's the faithful scribe. In Nehemiah, he's the rebuilder of everything that was broken. In Job, he's our redeemer that liveth forever. In Psalms, he's our shepherd and we shall not want. In Proverbs and Ecclesiastes, he's our wisdom. In Songs of Solomon, he's the beautiful bridegroom. In Isaiah, he's the suffering servant. In Jeremiah and Lamentation, it is Jesus is the weeping prophet. In Ezekiel, he's the wonderful four-faced man. In Daniel, he's the fourth man in the midst of the fiery furnace. In Jose, he's our love that is forever faithful. In Joel, he baptizes with the Holy Spirit. In Amos, he's the burden bearer. He, in Obadiah, he's our savior. In Jonah, he's the foreign missionary that takes the gospel into all the world. In Micah, he's the messenger with beautiful feet. In Nahum, he's the avenger. In Habakkuk, he's the watchman that is ever praying for revival. In Zephaniah, he's the Lord mighty to save. In Haggai, he's the restorer of our lost heritage. In Zechariah, he's our fountain. In Malachi, he's the son of righteousness with healing in his wings. And in Matthew, he's the Christ, the son of the living God. In Mark, he's the miracle worker. In Luke, he's the son of man. In John, he's the door by which everyone must enter. In Acts, he's the shining light that appeared to Saul in the road to Damascus. In Romans, he's our justifier. In 1 Corinthians, he's our resurrection. And in 2 Corinthians, he's our sin bearer. In Galatians, he redeems us from the law. In Ephesians, he's our unsearchable riches. In Philippians, he supplies our every need. In Colossians, he's a fullness of the Godhead bodily. The first Thessalonians and second Thessalonians, he's our soon coming king. In first and second Timothy, he's the one mediator between God and man. In Titus, he's our blessed hope. In Philemon, he's the friend that sticketh closer than a brother. In Hebrews, he's the blood of the everlasting yeah, covenant. Hallelujah. In James, it is Jesus who heals the sick. In 1st and 2nd Peter, he's our chief shepherd. In 1st, 2nd and 3rd John, it is Jesus who has the tenderness of love. In Jude, he's coming back with 10,000 of saints. Hallelujah. In Revelation, lift up your head, church, for your redemption, joy and life. He's the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, and his name is Jesus. Give me a J. Give me a E. Give me a S. Give me a U. Give me a S. One at first. One at first. I said, one at first. Jesus, give Jesus the glory. Hallelujah. Give Jesus the glory. Thank and praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Amir. Hallelujah. Oh, wow. Wow.
Wow. You are one pretty fireball, aren't you? You see, this kind of thing challenges me. When I reach 76, would I have this kind of anointing, energy, and memory? God bless you. Get the book. You will not be sorry. Thank you. Mother, Mabel Hunt is your lovingly called. What a joy to have you today. God bless you. May your life continue to be a ministry and healing to other families. God bless you. Could you thank her, please? Awesome, awesome.